After the disappointment of losing the Europa Conference League final to Leicester, there has been a massive off-season of upheaval at Crowell. Their best youth prospect and possibly best player in the squad have, have left, as well as the greatest manager has also left Crowell. Yes, I have left Crowell. But before I go and have a look and we have a look around what club I have ended up at, I'm going to just quickly go through the clubs I interviewed at but didn't get. Let's go check them out. Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 34, Sunday League 2 Premier League, a journeyman save. Before we get into it, you know, come on. Let's uh, let's subscribe to the channel here. It does mean a lot to me. You know, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, comment down below. Before you've seen this, try and comment down below. Where do you think we've ended up? Go on, come on. Okay, so just having a quick look here. The screen seems a little bit funny because I just shifted it over because over on the left there you can kind of see where it ended up. But we're at Hradek Kralov at the moment and they are 12th. They've won actually won a game. Hey, they beat uh, Teplice, thank God, but they lost two. Bohemians and uh, Slovakia. They probably should have won them. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the uh, the couple of teams that I interviewed for before I took my current job. The first one here is Bayer Leverkusen. Yes, there was the Bayer Leverkusen job was going in the Bundesliga, and so I applied for that. Um, it was looking pretty promising, uh, but I didn't get that job, unfortunately. Let's go and have a look at Club 2. Second club I interviewed for, over in Italy, Sassuolo. 16 in Serie A at the moment, I haven't played a game, that's why. So, as you can see here, a couple of big, big clubs. Leverkusen probably a little bit bigger than Sassuolo, but still, Serie A in Italy, that is a big, big jump. Anyway, I interviewed at two more clubs, let's go and check them out as well, eh? Third club with Zenit St. Petersburg, third in the Russian Premier League at the moment, they've played a few games, so, you know... One, these are some pretty, pretty big clubs. This is probably, once again, a little bit smaller than the other the other two. Obviously, the Russian Premier League is probably, um, where is it, ninth, you know, ninth in the uh, competition ratings. So, and we're going to go to one that's a little bit higher in the competition ratings, you know. Was was Lille in uh, Ligue 1 Uber Eats? Another massive, massive club. So as you can see from these interviews here, I uh, <clears throat> I was interviewing at some very, very big clubs. So it's a big, big jump from um, the Czech Republic to managing one of these four clubs. Now I can tell you out of those four clubs that I interviewed at, I am actually managing in one of those leagues. But unfortunately, I lost out on all those four of these jobs and I was feeling a little bit, um, a little bit down. I was like, ah. Oh, Maybe I'm not going to get one of these big jobs. And I actually applied to, at uh, Hanover. Hanover? Uh, no, Hamburg in uh, in Germany, who are in the Bundesliga Vi. And I was a bit like, mm, is this is this where I'm going? Down a bit? Because if you have a look, the Bundesliga Vi isn't actually like it's 28. The Czech Republic League is much, much better than that. But before I even interviewed for the uh, the Hamburger job, I got offered the job at Bordeaux. I got offered the job, and I obviously took it, at um, Bordeaux in in France. So that obviously was the same as, as the little job. A huge club. Um, national rating of three and a half stars. So it is half a star more than Kralov, but obviously it's still a massive, massive club. Now, they actually, um, competitions, competitions, domestic leagues. Uh, I only switched France on recently and they got relegated but then came straight back up. So they were looking for their manager. Their manager actually left and went uh, to Lille. So, and then this job came up and I was like, hmm, okay, sure, Bordeaux. And they offered it and I was like, yep, yeah, thank you very much. So I am now managing in Bordeaux at, uh, in Ligue 1. So very excited. So Hopefully we'll probably only get through one game today. We're going to have a little bit of a sticky beak around at the club. I've already done some transfers. I've been very, very busy. Um, so they gave me a budget of almost 10 million, 9.62, and a massive wage budget here. <laughs> like uh, Kralov actually, um, their wage budget went up to 100 grand for this season. So this is still almost nine times more than that. 
It did give me about five million that I spent at Kralor. Um, but yes, I had nine million. I've spent a fair bit of that. The club is looking for me to avoid relegation and 11th round of the, uh, the cup. Uh, they're disappointed to have a signed under 23 players, which is kind of why they picked me. But come on, guys, we just came up. I'm trying to, you know, get a uh, get a foothold in here. Um, where are we? It's probably transfers. Let's go have a look at the transfers here. Um, there's a lot of old players in the team, a lot of old players. So I needed to um, to kind of shift them off. We'll have a look at this guy. Uh, Jacobo Castillo. We're looking to bring him in as a left back. He looks really, really good. Uh, I haven't fully scouted him yet, but uh, there are a fair few clubs in for him, like Newcastle, Tottenham, Tottenham, Lille, Olympic Marseille, and um, Olympic Lyon. So I'm like, I mean, look, even if he's on the lower end of here, he should still be quite good. So he can be coming in. We'll have a look at the um, transfer history. So I've sold 8.75 million. Um, there's no one really here of note, just some old sort of fringe players recouping some money for them. Nothing really to note. Uh, the players in, here are all the players in. Uh, Chong and Nicholson, they were already uh, signed for free before I came. So here's Chong, uh, Man United starts the game. He's not too bad, he's pacey, he is actually out for quite a while. Um, twisted ankle three weeks, so not the best start for his career in France. Shema Nicholson. Never heard of this guy. Jamaican striker can play out wide as well. Once again, it was already signed by Captain before I came here. Probably wouldn't have signed him, to be honest. But we'll see how he goes. Um, this guy was transfer listed at St. Etienne. Adil, I've been practicing his name, and I'm sure I'll butcher it. Auchi, Chaichi? Adil, Adil. So he looked pretty different. Three different, pretty interesting. Three stars, three and a half star potential. We can play in the midfield where we need to boost. He's come in his first game because we have played one game. And he scored two goals. So I think I picked up a right little good deal there. And he's only 24. So once again, it's kind of bringing in some youthfulish players to try and shift those older players. Aziz Utara. Uh, he's on loan from Chelsea. Ivorian, 21 caps already. He's only 20, he's 25 years old. One of those Chelsea loanies. He is a four and a half star player for our team. And uh, can nicely play it right back if he needs to, DMC and midfield. But he's on loan for the season, so he looks pretty good to play in there. Eric, oh god, I've got to sign players with their names. Eric Chernov, the uh, Ukrainian striker. I thought we needed a new striker, and this guy looked like he would fit the bill. Good off the ball, determination, good natural fitness. Got some good all-round stats there. Uh, I've got it set to its 15 turns green so if I tweak that he could look a lot better but I think he looks pretty pretty decent now I haven't paid too much money for much of these guys as you can see a deal 2.6 with a loan fee of here of just 7.75 uh sure enough 2.5 million and here is the man who came from Crowell uh so Soko you probably guessed it I have to pay his minimum fee 3.9 so he was one of my most expensive signings but he's come in as a uh three and a half star player four and a half star potential Really, really rated him. He's uh, one appearance off the bench so far and has looked pretty, pretty decent so far. He's coming off that big injury he had, but 3.9 million. He is going to be an absolute star for the future, this guy. So, second box is there. But he's under 23 as well. Dirk uh, Di Turley uh, is Austrian uh, centre back or left back. It's just a bit of cover for that left back. And like his bravery, he's five star potential. And uh, he was actually transfer listed at. That club in Austria who have forgotten where we got from last. So two million for him. Um needed some beef out wide, I suppose not really beef, but pace and dribbling out wide. So William Goebbels has come in. He came in from I've forgotten already, but we'll have a look in a minute. Can play up front, but he is nice and quick and good flair player, really good solid stats, technique, and all that kind of jazz. So he's come in, looks really good. Like I said, I shifted off a few wide players, older players here, and uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, came in from Mets. And the last one you can see here is Granite Xhaka on a free, obviously released, I think, probably by Arsenal, I'm assuming it was. No, it was actually at Monaco. Wow, so he, he's been playing in France already, got released. Now, the reason I signed him is because he was already, his contract fell through just as I signed. So I was like, okay, maybe this one, you know, can be quite good. And he's, he's still pretty decent. Now, the reason why I ended up signing him and he's the last one in is because... The squad kind of already cracked it at me. Um, 
Remy Uden here has decided that we needed more defensive midfielders. So I signed Xhaka for that purpose. He's still unhappy and is worried about the, de the competition of places. Now, he's got, I don't know if you can see it because of my head, but he's got 13 players who agree with him. Uh, if we can see there, but anyway, whatever, it's probably 13 players who agree with him, which is a bit annoying, really. But got my atmosphere is good, manager support is, manager support is a happy pitch, okay? We've got um, Mbaye Nain. He's worried about girls taking his place, which I was like, he's not going to, but even then he still cracked it and whatnot. So, whatever. And this guy's unhappy of the of sale of this guy who was, yeah, he was half decent, but he was also 35. So, kind of had to shift him on. But he's, no one's, I said, don't worry, I'll bring in some better players. And I think I have. Um, Staff-wise, we obviously try to always improve the staff, which it was awful when I got here. I have brought a couple of people over from Krulov with me. I'm not sure if it was any coaches. I cannot remember. Um, what it definitely was, though, is some medical staff. I've got two really good physios. Um, where are they? Ivetna Navratilova, uh, Physiotherapy 17. She was at Krulov, so I brought her over as well. And Dr. Karen Julius, who's a doctor, Jamaican, brought her over as well. So Physiotherapy of 18. And sports science of 13. So those two came with me as well. I think a couple of other younger, there were some that went down into the Bordeaux 2 and under 19 stuff as well. And I think I, maybe a scout, I can't remember, but a couple of stuff come with me there. But obviously, a lot of the Bordeaux staff were a lot better. Whew. This is lengthy tactics wise. We've obviously been playing my uh, Kralos Revenge. Might be Bordeaux's Revenge, might have to change it. A couple of tweaks. We've, uh, we've, we've dropped the Mazala for a ball-winning midfielder here and then dropped Odin here to an in, uh, inverted winger because he plays better at that position. Um, this guy here who is actually playing that ball-winning midfielder role, he was captain when I turned up. He's 19. He was captain of the club. Uh, he looks pretty damn special at 19 years old. Um, he's come through the Bordeaux Youth Academy and played a full season last year for them in League 2. In the, in the, something like that. Anyway. So we've played one game, like I said. We are sixth at the moment. Um, PSG are just disgusting. We'll get onto that in a minute. Friendlies went excellent, mind you. And uh, we played Rems in the first game, and uh, we beat them 2-1 with that man, Adil, scoring two goals. And actually, an own goal. So we get on to Strasbourg today, and uh, then we'll, we'll go forward with that. But... It was really, really, actually, before the whole thing kicked off here, if we go back to the very first game of the season, it was a one-off. PSG played the very first game of the season against Claremont Foot and beat them at 9-0. And after I saw that score, I was just like, this is going to be ridiculously hard. Um, they have Matthias De Litt, Erling Haaland, Paulo Dybala, and I'm pretty sure he's not, didn't start, didn't play. They also have a 37-year-old Robert Lewandowski. They have an absolutely disgustingly good team. Rodrigo Bentico, yep. Justin Clivert, I, I mean, like, I don't even know how you're supposed to compete with that. But as you can see, Monaco actually won the championship last year, and uh, there's obviously Lille, that's before we started, but then PSG won 4 0, and Monaco have just won last year. So, interesting that they can be overthrown, but um, how long's Harlan been here for? Just out of curiosity. Pretty much since the get-go. They bought him halfway through that season. Wow. Uh, and he is just scoring goals for the fun of it. So I think, I think I've think i pretty much covered everything uh, as is for the moment. We should probably get out here and play a game against Strasbourg. But because we're already 13 minutes in, it's been dilly-dallying. <sighs> You'll get to meet more of these guys as we go along. Um, we've got uh, our um, Romanian goalkeeper in goal in... I not Radu Radu. There's actually one last name I can pronounce, not the first name. Um, Radu in goal. We've got uh, Kroll Fila, Polish right back here. We've actually got Michael Keane, Everton defender. He's 33, but he's still not too bad. Uh, his pace acceleration is a bit low, but we'll work on that. Uh, Fami Wo is a Nigerian defender as well. He's not too bad. I mean, some of the money these players are on. 46.5k, Michael Keane. God, that was almost like my whole. Budget at one point at Cradle. Uh, Jason Pendant at left back, the Vietnamese player. Um, he's okay, but that's why I'm looking to bring in that other kid, so we'll rotate them. We've got Xhaka, obviously, in that midfield. Old head and our captain, 
uh, Sufain Dumalin. This guy's special. I think he could be really, really good. Tyler's midfielder. Like him, like him. Uh, we've got Salty Mitt Salt Pants from the Uden here on the right, who's pretty bang average, 29. I'll probably be looking to move him on, especially if he keeps sulking. Uh, we've got a French midfielder here, Adil. Uh, two goals in the first game. Uh, Goebbels, 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 Goebbels on the left. Willem, Willem on the left here. And uh, Shurinov up front. Uh, on the bench, we've got uh, Sissoko here on the bench as well. He's going to kind of swap in and out with uh, Adil. Uh, and that is the team. They've also, like, I mean, look for an example here, like a Kevin Strutman, great player, still six years old. Like, so I don't know what it is with the, I don't know what it is with the AI and signing old players. It's the same thing when well, the PSG have already won four 0 The same thing when I went to Krallop and um, we had all those uh, old players, so I had to shift off, and then the old manager was like, "Oh, man, did such a good job, which is why they're doing so well." And I was like, "Mate." We signed a whole bunch of crap, and now I'm having to fix up your mess, which... Mm. Anyway, these guys have just come up from League 2. I've got, I'm really confident we can, we can stay up, and this is this is it now. This is I've, I've made that launch from, um, from Iceland to the Czech Republic. Czech Republic to here is a massive, massive step. Things could go sideways very, very quickly from here if we don't um, get things right. All right, Strasbourg. Anyone here we notice quickly? No, no one we notice. There we are. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's kick the game off. Here we go against Strasbourg. Like I said, massive step up from the Czech Republic to um to League One. It's, it's like the fifth, fifth best league in the world. Disappointing as well because I think another season at Kralov, we could have really we could have gotten Champions League with those new rules coming in next year. But you know, this is all about when a good job presents itself in the in this as in life you wouldn't just be like no nah, no nah, i'm staying here and that is not the start we wanted i actually for a second then thought that was us for the ball because i was like it's blue but in fact that is strasbourg uh, scoring after 10 minutes and that is not the start i wanted um especially since i think yeah we, we can check the season preview i think it was like 14th which i would take at the moment um but But not looking good at the moment. Oh, the goalkeeper is a long way out there, but it uh, doesn't happen here. And is Strasbourg on the ball again and looking to mount another attack? And just chipping it around. We look pretty ordinary here. And that is oof, off the bar. Thank God for that. How's everyone looking? Crap. I'm worried about Xhaka. He didn't have a very good game last last time out against um, Rennes? Rennes? I'm going to butcher a lot of names this year in France, by the way. We have not even had the ball. This is what, the third highlight and we haven't had the ball? And this looks... Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Save. It's actually a save. Good stuff, Raddy. Good stuff. Anyway, yeah. 39 minutes in. We haven't had the ball once. We just defend, defend, defend. I mean, three, so we haven't even had a shot on tight with a 36% possession. I'm going to give these guys what for at half time. I have the nine. But I was in the Europa Conference final. Like, I expect better. And I'm pointing fingers. I haven't taken enough shots. Disappointed. Sort yourself out. Otherwise, I'm going to start binning you lot. Uh, we're going we're gonna to yell out some demanding more. We may... Yeah, no. No no one attacking. I'm oh, very attacking. And we will look. We'll give them about 10 minutes and we will look to make some changes. Uh, sure enough, could be a flop at this point. Um, which is not looking good. And... At least we've had some shots on target, um, but they haven't come up in a highlight as of yet. Uh, let's have a look. Sure, is, sure, sure enough, not playing well. We're going to bring on Nicholson for him. Um, Odin's playing crap, so you can come on. This guy's supposed to be one of the best guys in our team, Nicholas Ngamu, old Cameroonian. I can get a tune out of old Cameroon players. Samuel Unlend rings a bell. Um, we're going to leave him as an advanced. An invert, an invert, an inverted winger. Um, and we're going to bring on Sissoko as well into that attacking midfield position, which he does like. So give the team a talk, point the finger, go out there and make me proud. Triple substitution, that is how desperate I am. <sighs> Jacker on the ball now. Oh, look, he's on a yellow card. Surprise, surprise. Granite, Jacker. 
But it's Strasbourg with the ball, and but luckily we get there, and it is Goebbels with the ball now to a deal, a deal to Schoenhoff. We haven't, those tactical changes haven't come in now, which means we will probably score. But the captain, Dumalin, skies it over. Changes coming in now. Get some encouragement. It's a free kick from Granite Xhaka. What can he do with it? He can get it in the back of the net. Get in. Oh, great free kick from Xhaka. That's a bit more like it. Just in the D there, Bushka. Back of the net, good. Encourage the boys, hopefully that works. It does, work the ball into the box. Um, Sure, let's try that. That sounds like a good idea, assistant. Mm, Famuel is not playing too well. It's goal kick out for Strasbourg here. Can we look to, oh, that was bad. Uh, can we look to Nick a winner here? I back the boys too. Nicholson on the ball now. Goebbels, Sissoko, that man. Oh, he's rattled the post. Forgotten what that thing was called for a second then. Oh, no, no, I probably, this is, oh. Oh, look, Granite Jacka getting a red card. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right, okay. Sissoko, who just dropped back. Right, he's all right, he's a deep line playmaker. Um, I'm going to put Damalin on to uh, defend duties, actually. This could be a goal. Oh, great save. Great save. Do we get four substitutes in front of us? No, we don't. It's just three. Headed out there. I did look to see if I could bring in any other players from Kralov. Um, two obviously probably spring to your mind as they spring to my mind were um, Christian Freidek and Tyka Magnusson. Uh, unfortunately, neither player really is that good to make this team. Christian Friday could probably make it as a squad player at best, which is disappointing. That's how big we've jumped up. Um, that wasn't too bad in the end. I mean, possession, we were just outclassed in possession, and back in Famuel wasn't great. Were we unlucky? I'm disappointed. I'm going to say I'm disappointed, because I think we were pretty crap. Eric Shurinov is not happy there. Two games, he doesn't look very, very good. We'll give him a few more games, but Grand Shaker Band for one match, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So let's have a look here at the squad. Yeah, see, where is sure enough. Yeah, he's on a 6.4 at the moment, so he hasn't been in the best form. A couple of other ones here Remy Odin, 6.3. Oh, he'll be struggling to get in the game next week. Um, Famuel, mm, see, not playing too well. All right, where are we going? Oh, Clement Foot and Brest in the 17th and 18th. Then we've got big games against Monaco, Montpellier, Rems, St. Etienne. Um, I mean, I should come back for the Paris game, but I just really don't want us to get absolutely thumped. So we'll be avoiding those ones at best. But we probably will play a chunk of games. I'd like to, you know, get this one sort of rolling, probably half a dozen games. Maybe we come back for Nice and, uh, and Nantes. Nice and Nantes. Nice and Nantes, the double N teams. Double N teams. No, they just have one N. You just made that name up. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. And um, I'll totally catch you guys on the next episode. Bye.